What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is your host, as always, Phil. And I'm making a little different video today. Um, this one in particular is involving a new fairy tale game just released uh, for PS4 and Switch here in the US. Um, the one you're looking at on the screen is the PS4 version. Um, and what I mean by this is a different video is I have not beaten this game yet. I was very excited to hear about a fairy tale game coming into the Midwest, to, coming to the U.S. So, quick disclaimer: Yeah, I have not beaten it. I am probably a good couple hours into it. Supposedly, the game is at almost 30 hours long, so I'd say I'm probably like a third of the way through. Uh, maybe even not even that. Um, but I just want to get my quick impressions for those who are looking to possibly get this game. Um. And my fear was that they were going to half-ass this game like a lot of other anime releases recently. Uh, the My Hero Academia, uh, Once Justice games, I felt like were very half-assed. And I was super worried that they would do the same thing. And sadly, they did. They half-assed this game a little bit. Um, straight first and foremost, the character models look okay. You know, like, they actually look pretty, like, not bad. Some look better than others. Um, for some reason, all the female characters uh, have their chest sticking out like they're trying to win a beauty pageant. Oh, Lasana, I'm so sorry, girl. Um, but um, what I mean by they half-assed it mainly is the story. Um, this is since this is the first real fairy tale game to ever come out to the U.S. You'd imagine that they would start it from the beginning. You know, start from the very beginning of the fairy tale anime. You'd be wrong in this case, because they start it literally at the Tenro Island arc, which is um, about four or five arcs into the show. So you don't... So this... If you're not familiar with the fairy tale anime, this is very weird, because you're just thrown in with all these characters. You don't understand how they became friends or where how we got to this part. And then I'm thinking, okay, so the Tenro Island arc, cool, there's some pretty cool fights. Um, the tutorial fight literally is the big bad boss from that arc, and they just, it's not as epic as the anime is, and it's kind of sad. And then, of course, the next part is this very huge uh, sacrificial moment by the guild master in the group, little, little old guy here. He fights off another big boss, In the anime it's very emotional, but in the game they completely skip it. So right off the bat, I'm like, oh, so this is what we're doing. Then it hops into, you know, seven years later, right around the Grand Magic Games arc. You know, with this a seven-year time skip. Um, right off the bat, I noticed that there's not, an option, there's not an option for dub audio, which I hate that. I am somebody who prefers my anime uh, dubbed. I'll watch it subbed, but I'd rather listen to it and taking all the visuals, then read it. Um, so right off the bat, I think that's very lazy. Maybe they didn't have the rights. Like, some anime games don't have the rights to the audio for dubbed, and I get that. But, I mean, if they can add in a dub later on, that'd be really cool. Um, next thing is the combat. The combat is very different. It is essentially... It's turn-based. It's like, you know, traditional JRPG. Which, I mean, at first I was like, ugh, I don't really like that. But, um, you, it actually grows on you. And some of the combat, like, the animations for the combat are very cool. I dig it. I'm gonna hit this wolf in the butt. Oh, God! Hitbox also is really bad in this game uh, for attacking enemies. So as you can see here, it is a turn-based system. Um... With a pretty decent combo system where, like, well, later on in the game you get the ability to have other teammates combo right after you. Um, you have a bunch of uh, attacks that can hit a certain radius and range. And you can even tell if the enemy is weak to it or not. Like I said, cool animations. I dig it. Um, but it upsets me when, like, they yell at the attack names and they're in Japanese. It's just, it's not the same to me, because I, I grew up watching this show in dub, so it's a little odd. 
Um, you get items for beating up enemies, experience, obviously. Um, your attacks and magic get stronger as well. Um, certain animations are great, like Natsu and Grey's are great. Lucy, on the other hand, when she summons her celestial spirits, which is her whole attack style, um, they sometimes will show up as just pictures, but others will show up as full-on animations, which is cool. That That's neat. Um... Let's see. The con like the story is very much watered down. So unless you are a fan of the fairy tale anime and you already have know this stuff by heart, this game really is not meant for anyone but hardcore fairy tale fans. Which is you know fine, but when Naruto can release literally game after game which have these huge over expanding arcs, I feel like they could have for the fir for their first fairy tale game here in the U.S. they could have done better. They could have given us a bigger story. Now, another thing is, I kind of wish the combat was more like, say, for lack of a better term, like Kingdom Hearts-esque, or even Dynasty Warriors. You know, that would have been really cool. Um, you can customize your character. Oh, God! Uh, you can customize your characters uh, with costumes, but um, I'll get to that part in just a brief second. Um, you can walk around towns. Towns feel very empty, though. Uh, completely basically completing little fetch quests uh, to get little uh, to get lacrima crystals that you need in order to uh, kind of help buff up your characters when you also um, I'll show you this in a sec there's also no like faster way to move around there's no like we're already running but I wish there was kind of a, a another run button um, in the guild halls, you get these request boards. You complete quests, you know, ranked anywhere from D to S. Um, you get, uh, you get money, you get experience, and you get, like, special upgradable things you can make your character stronger. Which is neat! Um, but pretty much all of these are go out to this area, kill this many of this particular type of enemy, and be done with it. So it's basically just... It... I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting, but it just kind of it's repetitive at most. Um, you can get more. Uh, you can you can do special stories with characters to get the, you know make them a bit stronger. You can dual characters in order to um, make uh, basically get more bonuses and stuff like that. It's so far like it's very bare bones. JRPG, but I'm, ha I'm I am having fun with it. Don't get me wrong, I am having fun with it. I just wish that as a first attempt at a game, this they would have done a bit better. Um, you can upgrade the guild hall. You can customize your team with a bunch of different wizards you pick up along the way, um, which is cool. I, I'm currently trying to train up Wendy because. She's had me to fight a boss battle by herself, which is stupid hard, against an enemy that literally is resistant to wind, but that's her entire element. So that's an interesting idea. Um, you can change your equipment and lacrima, uh, which these crystals can increase stats, like attack, max HP, stuff like that. Um, let me get to the big thing, though, that really pisses me off. This game retails for 60 bucks. Then, they have released individual DLC bundles with all different costumes. So, for different costumes for all characters. Now, this one bundle is the last season arc bundle, which comes with all of their costumes from the last season of Fairy Tale. I actually caved in and I bought one for Natsu and Lucy, because I really like this outfit on Natsu. Um, the problem is, this bundle... It's forty dollars. Forty dollars for a costume set. Sure, there's like ten or eleven characters, you know, twelve characters on here that you can get costumes for. But it's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm like, okay, well maybe I'll just go buy individual costumes like I did for these two. The costumes alone are three fifty a piece. Three dollars and fifty cents for a costume. And then there's other bundles that are like. Hey, this is the swimsuit bundle for all the characters. You get them in their swimsuits. Another 40 bucks. This set, and then there's another one that's like a fancy set. 40 bucks. 
to get all the DLC for this game, like all the costume DLC plus the season pass. Oh, ooh, the season pass as well, which is another $60 for apparently more content that either is going to be coming out a little bit later on or it could actually be available now. Um, it's another 60 bucks. So you have like three different types of costumes, three to four different costume sets you can buy, which are 40 bucks a piece. So that's about... 160 bucks plus the season pass which is 60 plus the game which is another 60 that's almost 300 dollars for everything in this game and it's mostly costumes like i've heard that this particular studio that makes this game um gust and kt they're known for releasing a game and then having a crap ton of costume sets that are overpriced and that's that's something in, in Japan, that's something that they're well known for, and people in Japan don't care. They like customizing their characters. But this is absolutely ridiculous. I paid 60 bucks for this game. They already half-assed the story, half-assed some of the moments in the game, and they expect me, instead of being able to unlock these costumes, which there are some costumes I've gotten for other characters so far that have just been from playing the game, which is... You know, okay. But the fact that a lot of these other costumes I cannot get unless I buy the costumes. Because, oh yeah, another thing is this an the anime, uh, sorry, the game goes from the Tenro end of the Tenro Island arc slash beginning of the Grand Magic Games arc to the end of the Tartaros arc. Which is not the final arc in this game. Sorry, final arc in the anime. The final arc in the anime is the Spriggan uh, War arc, or like the Zeraph War arc. So this game doesn't even go to the end of the anime. They might release it later on as DLC, which, you know, knowing so far how, they, how they've released their DLC so far, actually, I can believe it. Um, and then, oh, so far, the character model, they have made... They have, they have not made certain character models in the game, but yet they have the character talking in the cutscenes, which makes no freaking sense. Other, uh, other wizards who play decent roles in the Grand Magic Games arc do not have character models. So, I'm just... It's, they did some really cool things in certain areas, and then other characters, they did really shitty things. So, uh, they just... I don't know, I'm sorry this is all over the place, but like, as I'm talking about it, I'm remembering certain other things, and it's just getting to be a problem. So, yeah, overall, this game is, it is, it's great that we finally have a fairy tale game. It is just disappointing that it is not a great fairy tale game. At most, with everything going on right now, if I were to rate this game right here now, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. You know... Maybe even a 5 out of 10, just because of the horrible DLC practices. Like, I'm still enjoying this game, though, because I'm a fan of Fairy Tale. Um, but we'll see if, um, honestly, ways they can improve this. Get rid of the stupid overpriced DLC. Um, let me buy costumes for, like, a dollar. Um, or pr just throw them into the game. Um... Add the dubbed voice work in there so we can actually, like, I can listen to the voices I grew up with. Um, reduce the cost of the DLC. Like, just do something to make it more of a value because right now, 60 bucks for this game is not a good value. I mean, time wise, yes, but it, it's just it's quality. Um, but that's, that's all I'm going to do for this video. Thank you guys so much for listening to me rant. Um, for those who are thinking about getting this game after watching this, have I changed your mind? Um, are you even are you wanting to buy the game even more now? Uh, those who bought the game and think I'm crazy, let me know down in the comments below. I um, really appreciate it. Thank you once again, guys. Have yourself a fantastic rest of the day. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Take care.